I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on work and time. These word problems are very popular in many competitive tests and we are supposed to answer them within a minute's time. In this video, we will learn all these strategies where persons working together or alone can complete a job in fixed number of days. We will take up two persons and three persons cases. I will also share with you some shortcut formulae so that you can answer these questions within a minute. Within a minute, right. So the type of questions we'll discuss are like this. In first set, we'll say A can complete a job in 10 days, B can do it in 15 days. Together, they can complete it in how many days? Question 2, A can complete a job in 12 days, B can do it in 18 days. Together, they can complete it in how many days? Similar to the previous one, right? Just for practice. 3. A can complete the job in 20 days. A and B together can complete the job in 4 days. B alone can do it in how many days? Fourth is A can complete the job in 12 days. A and B together can complete it in 4 days. B alone can do it in how many days? Right? And then we will have strategies for when three persons work together. Anil can paint a house in A days. Ben can do it in B days. Cindy can do it in C days, together they can complete it in how many days, right? So we'll get a formula here. Once we work with the formula, here is an example to practice where we'll provide numbers to A, B, and C. And then we'll have slightly tricky questions, but well, persons working together or alone will only be considered. Anil and Ben can paint a house in 10 days. Ben and Cindy can do it in 12 days. Anil and Cindy can paint it in 20 days. How many days will they take to paint the house together? And the last question in this series will be, Anil can paint a house in 10 days, Ben can do it in 12 days, Anil, Ben and Peter together can paint it in 4 days. How many days will Peter take to paint it alone? And the last question is, how many days will Peter and Ben will take to paint the house? Right, so these are the questions which we are going to share. So let's actually begin with, the general method of solving such questions. So we'll discuss a very general way and then we'll take up our examples one by one. So this is our strategy number one. Anil can paint a house in A days, right? And Ben can do it in B days. When we say that, we say one complete job takes A days to complete by Anil. So in this, basically, you need to find rate of work done. So that is today, how much can Anil paint in one day? So we are asking one question. How much can Anil do in one day? How much work in a day, right? So that is the question to be answered, right? So well, in one day, what really happens? We say Anil can paint a house in A days in one day. He can paint only 1 over A of that fraction, right? Ben can do it in B days. So in one day, Ben can do only 1 over B. Together means add them. Ben will do 1 over B in a day. And together they will do how much? 1 over T. Let T be that together. You get my point, right? So, so that is how we kind of get our formula. So this is your general formula, where you can find together they can complete it in how many days? That is our letter T, right? So T will give you together. So you can solve this by taking a common denominator. So it is product of A and B. Here it becomes B plus A equals to 1 over T. And that gives you the formula, right? So very simple formula right there for you. So let me put it in block. We can use this formula and straight away answer all the questions for together. So together will be, just flip it, right? So AB over A plus B, correct? That is what happens when they work together. So these days will be given to you, just multiply them and divide by their sum, right? So product divided by sum is what happens when they work together. 
Is that clear? So that is our formula number one, which will be used to find how much time a job will take when two persons work together all the time, right? Now there is a variation to this. The variation is kind of like this. Anil can complete a job in A days. Anil and Ben together can do it in T days. B alone can do it in how many days? That means we need to isolate B, right? So equation basically is same. Equation is same, which is 1 over A plus 1 over B equals to 1 over T. The only thing is in these type of questions, we don't know what one person can do. We know what both can do, right? <clears throat> So we isolate them. So we need to find what 1 over b is. So we say 1 over b should be equal to what? 1 over t minus 1 over a, right? So that gives you what? So if you rearrange, you get 1 over b is, now again take the common denominator, which is t times a, and here it becomes a minus t, and then you flip it. When you flip it, you get your second formula to work with, and these two formulas can always give you immediate result when two persons are working together or alone, right? So, so this time, as expected, the difference comes in the denominator. Is that okay? Always these quantities will be positive. Days cannot be negative, correct? Remember that. So just take the difference and then divide by the difference. So you divide by the sum when together comes into picture, less number of days. When only one, more days, divide by the difference. Is that clear to you? So that becomes the base for us to solve the first set of four questions, right? So now let's get back to our set of four questions. The very first question here is, A can complete the job in 10 days, B can do it in 15 days, together they can complete it in how many days, right? So together they can complete in multiply them, we get 10 times 15, and divide by their sum, which is 10 plus 15. Is that clear to you? Now you can solve and get your answer, right? So what do you get? You get 10 times 15 in the numerator, and here we have 25. Now, cancel whatever you can, so 5 times 5 and 5 times 3, that goes 2 times and you get your answer, which is 6. Is that clear? So together, they will do this job in 6 days. So we get our answer, which is 6 days. Is that clear to you? Let's look into the second one. So in the second one, it says, A can complete the job in 12 days, B can do it in 18 days together. Okay, great. So we'll just do it together. It should be 12 times 18 divided by their sum, right? So just add them up. So 8 plus 2 is 10, and we get 30. Clear? Now simplify it, right? So simplify it. We can divide by 2. So we get 9 here and 15 here. We can divide by 3 also. So we get 3 and 5. Correct? So what we get? We get 36 divided by 5. So dividing by 5, we get 7 full days, right? And then 1 fifth of the balance day. So that is how we can find the number of days required when they work together. Now question number 3 is, A can complete the job in 20 days. A and B together can do it in 4 days. B alone can do it in how many days? So we need to find the difference now, right, in the denominator, but the numerator will be their product. So it is 20 times 4, and the difference, bigger number minus smaller number, right? So we get what? We get 20 times 4 divided by 16, right? So we can cross it out. So we get this times 4 and that times 5, correct? So B can complete the job alone in 5 days. Do you see that? So we get 5 days as our answer. Do you see how fast it is? Now, last question here. A can complete the job in 12 days. A and B together can do it in 4 days. So you're going to multiply 12 and 4, right? B alone can do it in how many days? Difference of these two numbers, 12 minus 4, clear? So this time what we get? We get 12 times 4, and then you have to divide by 16. You can divide this by 4 and that by 3. 
So the answer is three days. So be alone can uh, do the something has gone wrong here. <laughs> sorry for that. So 12 minus 4 is 8. I'm sorry. 12 minus 4 is 8. And when you divide this, that goes two times. So we have to redo this. Okay. Fine. So 12 minus 4 is 8. So we get 12 times 4 over 8. And that goes two times. And that goes six times. And that is 6. So we actually get six days, right? So B alone can do it in six days. So let's take a break at this point. I hope you understand what happens when two persons are working together or alone. With that in mind, I'd like you to look into the previous questions which we talked about, try to solve them, and then we'll be back with the solution too. When three persons work, what happens? Thanks for your time and all the best.